Hey folks, uh, this is John Bowen with Bowen Real Estate. How are you? Uh, I'm in front of 52 Greenwich Street in Dorchester. It's a, uh, it's a two-family property listed at 166... <coughs> oh, asshole. Excuse my French. Uh, $166,252,000. Uh, anyway, um, let's, uh, let's go take a look. Uh, Greenwich Street is a one-way uh, property. Uh, it comes off of... Um, Freeport Street basically so uh, let's take a look by the way this is just a shell uh, this property is in real tough condition and it's only for developers and contractors so this is the first floor quite honestly I'm having a trouble I'm having trouble figuring out the layout of what they were trying to do here you can see the people started rough uh, you know they put the, some studs up put some rough electric up but uh, they probably ran out of money or just said, forget it, this property, we're crazy for even trying to do this property. Anyway, so this is probably what they thought was going to be the living room. You got a little closet here, although you can't really tell here. I don't know, this opening to me seems too thin to get into the next room, but this will probably be the kitchen, I guess. I'm standing probably in where the kitchen should be because that looks like some pipes uh, for the... the um, kitchen sink right there and then that would probably be I don't know a dining room I guess so nobody really builds dining rooms into their properties anymore these days unless you get a colonial or that's about it uh, this is uh, probably gonna be some sort of a bathroom I would say all right and then back here they have what looks like to be the doorway to a bedroom and the bedroom's not even very large it's probably only about uh, 11 by 4 13 or 14 I would say at the best um, the problem is the problem is is that it looks like you got to go through this bedroom to get to this bedroom and this bedroom is only probably around 8 by 10 so this is only an 80 foot ba uh, bedroom legal you know it is legal for you know it, it qualifies as a bedroom but you know 8 by 10 is a tiny little bedroom this is a back room you can see that this Part of the building was uh, added on, who knows when, probably uh, 100 years ago, who knows. Uh, so let's go take a look at the basement first, why not? I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything because it's pretty much pitch black down here, but I have a flashlight. I haven't been down here yet. So it's a fieldstone foundation, and then they put some brick on top of the fieldstone. That's how they did it a lot back then. Uh, let's see, you got one heating system here, it's a burnum, it looks like it's probably around 10 years old, but it's so moist down here that it's rusting out already, and here's another one, forced hot air. So it looks like there's one forced hot water and one forced hot air. Uh, I can't tell you what the make of the other one is, and then you got your two water heaters here. So this was used as a two-family property. Um, again, there are your two water heaters, and those are gas water heater as well. And is this another heating system? It actually looks like there's three heating systems here, but who am I to know? Maybe they were using it as an illegal three. And this is, we're at the front of the property here, basically. Uh, here are two gas meters. All right, these are probably some old coal, old coal storage areas here. Uh, just maybe more storage or whatever. Oh, here are the heating systems. Yeah, so there are three heating systems in this. Uh, three heating systems. Actually, that one looks like it's dead. Three heating systems in this building. They're all screwed up. All right, I'm trying to get you guys through this as quickly as possible. And let's just go to the very front of the basement. <laughs> Somebody put a toilet <laughs> in the basement. All right, here are your electrical panels. You got a main, and you got well, you got three of them. First floor rear, well, first floor front, first floor rear, second floor. So they actually did have three units in here, and this is some sort of wow. This looks like they use this as a bedroom back. God knows when, 100 years ago. 
Look at that wallpaper over there. <laughs> what are those? Roses, probably from the 40s. And here's your main panel here, your main electrical panel. Well, this does have a door to somewhere, although... Let me... No, that's not going to open up. All right, so let's head down out of the basement, back up to the first floor. And then we will go back to the front stairs. Sorry for taking so long down to the basement, but sometimes you got to see all that stuff to try to figure out what you have. Um, all right, so here is the landing of the second floor. A little coat closet they probably try to build here, and this would probably be your bathroom, I would say, although they, oh, they have really nothing roughed on. Oh, this was the existing wall, and they bumped it out a little bit to get some extra room. Uh, this would be the front of the second floor. You see those nine-inch asbestos tiles. Uh, anytime you see nine-inch tiles, if you see these, and you, you probably remember this from when you were a kid, those are most likely asbestos. Uh, and then they have, what was this going to be? I don't know what this little room is going to be. Maybe a, maybe a bathroom, I guess, off of the front bedroom, I guess? Because that looks like a pretty big closet that they were building right there. Yeah, so this, is, this would be a front bedroom. All right, so this would be your, I would have to say this would be your kitchen. Because it kind of mimics the kitchen below on that first floor. All right. And then you would have, and then you would have, what do you have here? Just uh, two bedrooms? Yeah, they were trying to do two bedrooms, no kitchen, uh, and a, two bedrooms, no living room, and a kitchen for that, for that front unit. You can see with the studs that there is no access to the back of the building. So they were actually going to go and separate from where I'm standing right now. They were going to make this rear part of the building just a separate, uh, a separate, uh, I think that's a gunshot. Does that look like a gunshot to you? Because it does to me. <laughs> uh, or a rock. Who knows? So, let's keep on rolling here. So this is the back, and then this is some sort of an addition that they put on years ago. I guess what I'm trying to tell you folks is that even at 166 even at $166,252, this is a freaking disaster. I mean, it's not even, I don't think it's worth it. So let me get out of here. Let's go to the back. And let's go out to the exterior of this property again. We're on the first floor. We're heading towards the front door here. And let's just go take a quick tour of the exterior anyway, since we're here. Oh, of course it's locked. Well, we'll have to squeeze here. All right, so it does come with the driveway. And a little side porch. They called this F52R at some point. And that's it, little side yard. So anyway, this is my tour of 52 Greenwich Street in Dorchester. Uh, I don't know, this is, right now this is kind of tough at this price, I think. So anyway, any questions? My name's John Bowen with Bowen Real Estate. My office number is 617-364-8350. Again, 617-364-8350 if you want to find me on the web. My uh, website address is www bowenboston.com and that's b-o-w-e-n b-o-s-t-o-n dot com and again thanks very much for taking the time take care bye bye